So should we head off into Bat and Bang, see a bit of the town? Try and find a restaurant? I'm not really up for it just at the moment. I'm, I'm a bit drained. Maybe I'll go out and I'll find somewhere and then we can meet there for dinner. Yeah, OK. No, no, that's fine. I'm up for dinner. I'll give you a text. Fine, OK. We'll see you later. Leaving my father to rest and puppet to track down Winston, I'm off in search of food. And my friendly tuk-tuk driver, Tra-Tra, has promised to take me off the tourist trail. If I know anything about food, it's the importance of eating fresh and eating local. Although I'm not too sure how sound that advice will be around here. Okay, Chad, this is the local market. We call Bang Chuk Market. This is the local one. All my friends and my family, even me, come to shop over here. I wouldn't want to walk down here on a hangover. Yeah. Oh, my God. OK, cool. I mean, I get quite squeamish yeah, on, yeah. on the fishmonger's counter and Waitrose, and they're behind glass, mm -hmm. seeing it actually writhing around. Look at that! <laughs> That's the line. Just whack it. Yeah, yeah. Give it a whack. <laughs> OK. OK, yeah. Uh... Cha-cha. What else can you show me? What's that? Oh, uh, it's the water beetle. Look. Thank you. No. Ah. <laughs> no, Cha-cha. Would you eat it? Uh, I think I would probably not eat um, a water beetle. Oh, that's Frogs, very yeah, French. That's a frog. You like it? This is more than the leg. That's oh my god, that one's moving and it hasn't got a it's head. It's still alive. It's still alive. That's the rat. That's rat. Yes, that is the rat. So in Cambodia, you eat anything? Yeah, we eat a lot of things. You know, because Cambodia is kind of very poor country. Mm. And we learn to eat anything. We learn to eat anything. Chong mơ à pu we nơ rua ba nè pu ba ba. Good. I'm going to show you one thing. It's amazing. If that's alive, I'm f***ing off. Let us see it. Wow! Look at that. What is it, Jack? No, cha cha. I'm not great with snakes. Jack, come here, Jack. No, I don't like snakes. This is cobra. All the men in Cambodia like it. Do they? Yeah, cobra is the most delicious one. Ugh. All the men like it. Oh, <laughs> madam! <laughs> madam, that was not funny. <laughs> oh, well, I'm madam. glad everyone's having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> madam, very naughty. Hey, Jack, who did anything of it? To be honest, Cha Cha, I can't see anything that I want to eat. Yeah. Even your bananas look a little bit moody. I know one reference. It's the local restaurants. It's amazing. Yeah. No, madam, stop <laughs> whipping me with your Okay, let's go to the restaurant. Okay, let's go to the restaurant. Where is it? Down here? <laughs> Frankly, I'm rapidly losing faith in ever finding somewhere for dinner with Dad. However, Tra Tra is adamant he knows just the place. Hey, Patrick, Patrick. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Welcome to my place, Patrice. Thank you. At last, some good fortune. It turns out that Patrice trained in France as a chef and is willing to prepare a feast fit for a king. Sounds too good to be true. Bonjour. Bonjour. Thank, Thank you for letting me into your kitchen. Well, tell me, what's on the menu today? Uh, today we'll start with uh, uh, something appetizer for snack on snake. Snack on snake? Yes, I love uh, cooking French with ingredients of Cambodia. OK. Oh, God. What does snake taste like? Texture is so a style of the chicken, you know? Everyone says everything tastes like chicken. I mean, this is going to be a tricky watch for a vegetarian. Yeah, but it's so natural, huh? A little batter. Oh, first dish. First dish. Snake calamari. You want taste? I'm very good. That's just a first, huh? Yeah. Oh, definitely a first. You have to do because you made for the surprise. Mm. I like that. Well, good. I get like a chela, check and the carrot, but there, very mountain. That's the French for bring me the skunk anus. So, Patrice, yeah. what's the next dish? Uh, duck salad. I love that. Something weird is coming. Oh, Patrice, no, that egg is off. It's a yellow. What is that? A yellow, yellow duck. You know. Is it a fetus? It's a fetus, yes. I mean, Patrice, the phrase polishing a turd springs to mind here. 
Delicious. There we are, a duck fetus salad. Cha cha. Duck fetus. Good. Mm. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Yeah. Cha cha. It's amazing. Take it. It's yours. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Now the main course: a simple stir fry with one secret ingredient. Oh. Rat. It's got a tooth. It's got a tooth in its face. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat that. Take for you the best, huh? Probably let's leave the tail. Is there a wine pairing with this? I didn't want Patrice. I don't even know what part of its anatomy that is. Leg, arm, um, ass, rat's ass. Yes. Eating a rat's ass. I'm it's eating your brain. a rat's ass. And it's really good. Patrice. Yeah, I mean he's a pretty experimental chef. And now I've got Dad coming down. I'm not sure whether he's going to go with any of that. I'm slightly in shell shock, to be honest. Now, you may recall my father didn't like street food in Thailand. So I think that when it comes to Cambodian cuisine, discretion will be the better part of valor. Have you decided what you're going to have? Um, I think I'll start with the calamari. Wonderful choice. Could I push you in the direction of the duck salad? I've heard very good things. Yeah, OK. It's very like the one they do at the Ivy. All right, OK, I'll have that. Why are you smirking? Happy to be here. With you. Dining out. Some things are better left unsaid. Hey. Calamari. Lovely. Thank you, Patrice. And the moment of truth. It's actually rather nice, this. I think this is delicious. Well, who'd have thought it? Yummy. 